Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FB Games with match 32 of my Euro 2016 simulation. We've probably got 19 more matches to do after this. That's pretty good because this series is getting tiring. <laughs> if I'm quite honest, it's getting pretty tiring, but I'm having fun with it. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty fun to do, but it's kind of tiring at the same time. But uh, anyway, as you can tell today, I'm just going to take a quick drink before I continue talking. I apologise, I'm just really thirsty. Anyway, as you can see today, we've got Croatia taking on Spain in the final Group D game. We are live, well not live, but we are at Parc de Prance with referee Ian Lowcraft. I don't know why I picked the Gian and Dragons for Croatia. I keep forgetting who I used to have Croatia and pe people on my team like. I always forget which pl uh, which team I've used to pick as Croatia. Or picked to use as Croatia, but uh, I thought through one of my old videos and it is Gian and Dragons. So it is Croatia, as you can tell, these guys Croatian players, all the other teams Spanish players. Let's get into the game without any further ado. I don't want to waste any more of your time with some talking. Let's just go with the game. Let's listen to the commentators once again. Obviously, the uh, danger man... The danger man is Diego Costa. He's scored five Euro 2016 goals so far. Looking to become top scorer for the tournament. Ian Lowcroft, the true English referee, will be uh, officiating this one. Spain versus Croatia. Strinic, the captain, apparently, for Croatia. Casillas, the captain for Spain. It looks like Spain will be kicking off this match. As you can see, the Croatian team, I can't put any substitutes on because I'm not putting any more Croatian players across yet. I will do that for the knockout rounds if these guys get into the knockout rounds. And obviously the Spain squad is as strong as it ever is. I was going to have Paco Alcacer start this game, but I realised I had to play as Croatia, so Diego Costa will once again start up front for Spain. Iniesta, Costa passing it around. Koke, it's cleared by Strinic early on. Don't want to let an early Spain goal in. Silver. If we can help it. Silver. Silver. Marked well here. Iniesta. Diego Costa could get through back to Iniesta here. Jordi Alba in some space. It's very good tackling from the defence. Alba's got it back, but Perisic can bring it away. And now Nikola Kalinic scored a double in the last game, I believe. Could actually spark some energy into this game for Croatia. Maybe spark a win. But now I'm talking about Kalinic. Wanfran has got into a very good area for crossing here for Spain. Croatian players not allowing it. David Silva into Iniesta. Costa misses the header and it's cleared away. Kalinic. Try to pass it off for Busquets is there. Kalinic does get it back and Osic is found from the pass. Back to uh, Kalinic who leaves it for Mandzukic. That was meant for the right winger but decided not to run for it. Serna with a header. Try to get it forward to Perisic. It's gone to only to Alba here. Jordi Alba. Tackled by Perisic. Perisic keeps it in. He's in a good... Crossing position here. If you can get it in. Oh, it's a brilliant down header attempt. And it's just missed by Kalinic, I believe. Arsic now. Try to get around Koke. Arsic is in. Isco deflects it behind for a Croatian corner. It will be Arsic to take. And Mandzukic to look for. But it's cleared away by Spain for now anyway. Still very much attacking position here for Croatian. Modric. Rakitic now, one of Spain's own, and it will be a penalty here to Croatia. Croatia could pull off an upset here, Busquets is giving away a penalty. If you guys don't know the rule with my penalties, it's whoever wins it takes it. So Rakitic won it, Rakitic will take, straight down the middle, and Casillas has gone to his right, Rakitic is left, and Rakitic has actually put Croatia 1-0 up here. 
A penalty goal for Rakitic. Rakitic is player in Spain, plays for Barcelona. This time scoring against Spain for his beloved Croatia. It's 1-0 to Croatia. I didn't expect this at all. I don't think Spain expected this. But Busquets gave away the penalty. And Rakitic made full, full, well took full, full advantage there against his Barcelona teammate. Great tackle by Lovren there on Costa. And Lovren does get a lot of criticism, but he has been solid at the back for Croatia in this tournament so far. I believe Croatia will be going through second if they win or draw this match. I'm not entirely sure. Like I said in the last video, I will update the tables tonight. Iniesta. Diego Costa. Strinic try get in on Koke. Bit of a foul there. The referee's played advantage. Costa. He's got a good place here. It's gone to nobody in particular. And Perisic can help Croatia get away. Mandzukic. He's got space now to run. Not really a running guy. Or a passing guy, as it seems. Modric. Poor passing there. Ta intercepted by his Real Madrid teammate, Sergio Ramos. To Koke. Croatia trying to make tackles here. Isco. Picks out Jordi Alba. He's probably going to cross it into Diego Costa. He has done, but Lovren is there to clear up the danger. Like I said, Lovren has been a very good player so far. And Kalinic breaking forward. Mandzukic, not many options here. Modric looking to hold up play. Rakitic with a shot. Oh, my God, that was almost beautiful. Oh, my bloody God, that was almost beautiful. Rakitic hit that on the half volley and it's just off the uh, off the crossbar and over very close chance for Croatia to go 2-0 up here Croatia playing out of their skin so far doing very well against Spain and defended the attacking pressure very well and also scored a goal of their own and about to score another there with Rakitic Mandzukic, I feel like I don't have a right midfielder although well, Perisic is meant to be the right midfielder he just he isn't playing there he's playing more of a cent right centre mid role Arsic now, try to work his way around, Strinic, going through past Busquets and it's not quite far enough into the penalty box for anyone to score. And we'll see this shot from Rakitic there off the crossbar, crossbar challenge from the Barcelona midfielder. Modric, Kalinic now forward to Mario Mandzukic, the Juventus forward. Modric. Kalinic now with the turn. And the shot's on and it's very well saved by Casillas. Croatia have been very good so far this game. Maybe not in possession, but they've created chances. And uh, they've got some good tackles in. Not that one, because it's a free kick here. And it's, well, Sergio can put a good ball into the box here. Sergio Busquets is headed away by Dejan Lovren. Kalinic looking to try and further clear and he has done here. It's not gone far, only to Ramos. Rakitic tries to head her away, but feeble attempt at it. Iniesta, David Silva, tackled by Choluca. And Rakitic and Strinic working together to get the ball away. Mandzukic finds, out per finds Perisic here. Rakitic, Modric going for goal from range, and Casillas... Can only tip away. And now Mandzukic with the header and Casillas with an easy catch. Five minutes till half time here. And Spain's still behind from that penalty. And it hasn't got much better for the favourites. Well, they've been dubbed the favourites. But uh, so far they haven't looked favourites in this game. Poor passing there. Not what we usually see. But Busquets gets across. This time not fouling Rakitic. Oh my god, it's happened again. That is the fourth time. The fourth time it's happened here. The fourth freaking time that's happened with the goalkeeper this tournament. Busquets passing back to Casillas. Casillas completely missing it and it's just gone into his goal. And it's 2-0 here now to Croatia. Busquets has put it into his own net. And it's 2-0 to Croatia. This is not what I expected when I picked Croatia. I expected a Spain win. But so far, Spain haven't been 
playing to their full potential here. Modric taking the ball off Koke. Mandzukic may put Rakitic through. Rakitic going for the first time volley. Probably not the best idea. Had more time with that. But I think we'll need to score a stylish goal. Croatia can't be wasting chances though. Spain could easily fight back into this. And obviously Croatia will let that happen. But it is half time here. I'm going to take a quick drink while you guys look at the highlights. Rakitic scoring a penalty early on. And then Sergio Busquets scoring an accidental long goal just two minutes before half time. That incredible shot from Rakitic though, I was hoping that would go in. But instead Busquets scores an own goal, it went straight through Casillas' foot. And it's 2-0 here at half time to Croatia, which is what you didn't expect. Spain haven't even had a shot yet. Croatia have been brilliant so far. A little less possession than they probably like, but otherwise it's been an incredible game. If Croatia beats Spain here, they'll definitely go through. I'm not sure if they'll go through top of the group though, I've not exactly updated the tables for a little while. Strinic, I believe, is just looking to pass around now. And that's probably Choluk, uh, well that's probably Croatia's best idea here. They don't want to let in any goals, or if they do, they don't want to let in too many. Although obviously they don't want to let in any goals, but if they do end up letting in some goals, then they'll only want to let one in. Subasic, getting it clear to Rakitic here. Busquets with the well with the tackle. Rakitic getting it back and Mandzukic has made it past him here. Mandzukic, oh my! What's happened to Spain? What has happened to Spain? Croatia absolutely destroying them here. I didn't think I'd be three 0 up with Croatia against Spain. Mario Mandzukic scores the third goal here for Croatia. I believe that's his first in the tournament. So congratulations to Mario Mandzukic for scoring his first goal of Euro 2016. But 3-0 to... I don't see this happening in real life. I really don't. But I can't believe it's 3-0. Croatia have had an incredible performance today and Spain have just been off the boil. I think they've realised, well, we're already through. We might as well just step off the gas a little bit. And they, they are right, they are already through, without a doubt. They've already won the first two group games, so they are going to be through without any problems. But they need a win here to keep morale up, and Koke has been tackled there brilliantly. But I think I think Spain should have gone all guns blazing here for a victory today. Instead, they've let Croatia get, well, possibly a victory here. They've come to Rakitic, it's blocked well. Jordi Alba. It's gone to Wanfran here. One for now attacking for Espanyol, the Espanyol land. Spain going to look to make a sub. Coque, Costa with a very acrobatic chance. It's just wide. I was very acrobatic from Costa. I was thinking maybe he'd go for the simple header. No, because the acrobatic shot is weak foot. Coque is going to make way for Fabregas here. Hopefully that will change up play a little bit. Fabregas is a pass machine, so could make some chances here. But Nikola Kalinic now for Croatia. It may still get worse for Spain. Hopefully not for their sake. But Croatia can get loads of goals. They've got very good momentum heading into round 16. Very good save. And Costa almost put it in off the rebound. Modric. Perisic. Serna. Man who should be the captain. I haven't actually said captain yet. Dario Serna. Fabregas looking for Costa. Lovren is there. Lovren is always there. Lovren has always been there this whole game. He has played brilliantly in defence. Dejan Lovren looking to kill Costa here. He hasn't done. Costa could be through. Diego Costa. Fabregas is in the way. And the rebound is unable to be taken by Costa. As Subasic comes out. That could have been 3 1 there. Had uh, Fabregas not got in the way. But unfortunately for Spain he did. And it's still 3-0 here to Croatia. Which is very, very surprising. If this happened in real life. This definitely would be the surprise result of the tournament. And uh, Fabregas now. 
looking to put it in. Subasic once again. And Subasic delivery, uh, well, catching that easily, no problem. Albert Costa. Charluca is there. Charluca and Lovren have been rock solid at the back. Kalinic, tackled by one from there. I think it may be a foul, but I think it was more of a shoulder badge than anything. Iniesta looking to deliver it, uh, deliver it forward to Costa. Modric does get across and get a tackle in. Charluca, Mario Mandzukic, Nikola Kalinic. Oh, PK has stopped that pass to Kalinic. And Fabregas now has taken it around Modric beautifully. The former Barcelona national midfielder, now currently playing for Chelsea. Costa is passed away by Strinic. Rather lackluster here. Croatian get a clean sheet here, that would be incredible. Off the post by Fabregas, it just isn't Spain's day. Just isn't today. Perisic. Cerna is up there on the overlap. And Cerna. Mandzukic. Oh, it's saved. I don't think I was going in anyway, but it was a poor shot from Mandzukic. I tried to finesse it. But maybe I had, would have gone in, but uh, Casillas has got a save to it anyway. Pedro coming on for Isco here. And now Arsic. It may get worse for Spain here. It's cleared. Arsic putting it back in for a second time. Kalinic picking up the ball on the outside of the area. Lovren. Rakitic. Oh, it's a very good tackle by Busquets to start Rakitic from getting that shot away. Ramos. Mandzukic now. A cross goal, just like the computer does. Casillas catching it though. A very good catch from Ike Casillas. Choluca. Modric. Costa has not had the service he expected in this game. I don't think anyone expected Croatia to be leading 3 0. But it has been 3 0 and it could still get worse here. Mandzukic with a turn. And it's Jordi Alba and Iniesta who work together to stop him from taking a shot. Busquets has also been at fault today with his own goal. Oh, it's a bit late on Costa and it will be a buck in here. But as far as Croatia are concerned, I don't think they really care. A 3-0 victory over a team dubbed as the favourites. That's just ridiculous. That was, this, of course, if it happens in real life, which it most likely won't. If it does, it will be the shock victory of the Euros, definitely. How... Croatia have won 3-0 here it's unbelievable it might not be 3-0 it might be 3-1 might be 4-0 in the end who knows this game is full of surprises Mandzukic playing it forward to Kalinic it's not quite caught by Kalinic here 4 more minutes of normal time followed by injury time Iniesta caught there caught again it will be a free kick and a very good striking position I'm not sure why Ramos is taking it but Ramos is taking it no, he's not. He's running over it for... Uh, holy shit, he's running over it for one front. I didn't see that coming. I actually didn't see that coming. I was thinking it was going to be the other guy who was running there. But no, one front tried it. And it's not gone to plan. It wasn't even one front. It was number seven. I'm not sure who that is. I think that's Pedro. I don't know. I'm pretty tired, guys. So I apologise if I get names wrong. We're almost at the end of the game anyway, so I can sleep after this. Oh, Sitch. Oh, it must have been Mata then. I saw, the, I saw the one and I thought, yeah, one for hand, but no, it was Mata. I was close. Busquets trying to make up for his earlier error. And Mata with a very athletic goal has made the score look a little less, well, a little more respectable, shall I say. One Mata, very athletic there with a the bicycle kick. That's <laughs> well pulled out by one Mata. The Manchester United right mid. And you see why he plays for Man United now with skills like that. But uh, it will be 3 1. It is too little, too late, unfortunately. Croatia will win. It will be a free kick here. For the ref, do he will give a free kick here. And Rakitic. Even Rakitic has picked out Luka Modric here. And it's going to be a corner. I'm pretty sure. We're going to see Mata with the overhead kick there. That was pretty beautiful. That's not a corner for some reason. But it's okay because Croatia are about to win 
of the favourites. Rakitic. I believe someone's injured, but it's too late to care. It doesn't matter. Croatia have picked up a massive win over Spain. Spain dubbed as the favourites for this tournament. Croatia have just beaten them. Does that make Croatia the new favourites? Who knows? Who knows what will happen now? If Croatia will beat Spain 3-1, who knows what's going to happen for the rest of this tournament? Alright guys, I've taken a drink there. Croatian players celebrating. Spain players a little upset about their performance. But the both teams, I believe, will be heading to the round of 16. Well, I think... I believe it's Czech Republic in third. I'm not entirely sure. I will need to sort the tables out, definitely. Because I've not got a clue where everyone is. But I'm pretty sure Spain and Croatia will head on to the next round. It was a very good team performance by Croatia. But uh, as these highlights are going through, I'm going to outro this because I'm pretty tired. I just want to get to sleep. Anyway, this has been Let's Play FB Games with match 32 of my Euro 2016 simulation. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoyed this shock victory here for um, for Croatia. Some of the goals may be a little bit lucky, but some of the goals were just complete skill. Um, but yeah, man of the match was Mandzukic. Who was it for Spain? It was, of course, well, of course, it, well, I don't know if it was of course, but it was Iniesta. I'm not sure why they moved Busquets up front and Costa out left, but I guess that's that's their choice. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Let's Play FB Games in Match 32. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when I do some more Euro 2016 simulation. Bye for now.